Income tax 2023-2024. Business expenses, bad debts. Get ready and some coffee because to be a great tax preparer, you got to be like a scarecrow outstanding in your field. Otherwise, like a raven, the IRS will come and eat your lunch. Most of this information can be found in Publication 334, Tax Guide for Small Business for Individuals Who Use Schedule C Tax Year 2023, which you can find on the IRS website at irs.gov, irs.gov. Remember, in the first half of the income tax formula, basically a funny income statement. Most income statements having income minus expenses resulting in net income. Here, having income minus various deductions resulting in taxable income. Income, the sole proprietorship schedule C rolling into line one income of the formula, which is a little funny because the schedule C itself is basically an income statement having business income minus business expenses, which you can also call business deductions, resulting in, in essence, net business income, which is what rolls in from the Schedule C to line one income of the formula. The formula basically supporting the calculation behind page one of the 1040 that we see here, Schedule C, ultimately rolling into line eight, additional income from Schedule one. Here is a Schedule 1, Additional Income and Adjustments to Income, Part Number 1, Schedule C, roll it into Line 3, Business Income or Loss. Here is the Schedule C, Business or Loss from Business or Profit. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our CPA six-pack shirts. A must-have for any pool or beach time. Mixing money with muscle. Always sure to attract attention. Yeah, even if you're not a CPA, you need this shirt. So you can like pull in that iconic CPA six-pack stomach muscle vibe, man. You know. That CPA six-pack everyone envisions in their mind when they think CPA. Yeah, as a CPA, I actually and unusually don't have tremendous abs. However, I was blessed with a whole lot of belly hair. Yeah, allowing me to sculpt the hair into a nice CPA six-pack-like shape, which is highly attractive. Yeah, may maybe the shirt will help you generate some belly hair too. And if it does, make sure to let me know. Maybe I'll try wearing it on my head. And, and yes, I know six pack isn't spelled right, but three letters is more efficient than four. So I trimmed it down a bit, okay? It's an improvement. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com or laws from business, which has an income statement format, income minus expenses. We talked in a prior presentation about the idea of this expense category, which is going to be our point of focus for some time, remembering that in an income statement, in an income tax system, the expenses are a natural type of thing that you would expect to be deductible for an income tax. Those things that are ordinary and necessary in order to help us to generate the revenue, those expenses basically being the business deductions. They're also the largest category. There are the most different kinds of things typically in the expenses side of things. Therefore,